yo, yo, this is Sasha TV. Hey, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sasha TV on YouTube. Hey, me in Dream Studio, man. Book a session, get you a session, come record here. Best of studio products, everything I can hear. Um, by the interview, bandana, biker boy, spot the bandana lid, a whole bunch of good questions and all that good shit. Here at Sasha TV, stay tuned. Yo, 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 I'm here with Bandana Biker Boy. What's going on, bro? What's going on, bro? On, Working like a motherfucker. I, I, I can tell, man. I seen you uh, at the, the Nutley last Saturday. Yeah. Who won that show last Saturday? My nigga. Tay motivated. Motivated Tay. Man, motivated. I heard, did you win any time with that? I won three times in a row. So they, they canceled <laughs> yeah. you. So you got a whole another, uh, what's the name for you, for you right? So I got yeah. The um, best something. Of it's the a it's a con, It's okay. after after uh, I think it's I think it's next month. Like all the winners from last year, they're gonna have them at the Gore, and it's gonna be a big you know what I'm saying a huge contest with all the winners. And then the winner, the ultimate winner of that event, ultimately go get flown out to New York and some other shit, accommodations or whatnot. So that's gonna be a big deal. I think that's next. Money. I don't even know the exact date. I gotta get with Watts with that. That's gonna be yeah. fucking live. Shout out to Watts, man. Yeah. Um, all his yeah. hosting stuff he got going on there. I, I, I support big homie. So um, let's talk about your music, man. How many songs? Mm -hmm. uh, how many songs you think you have, bro? Like in all, bro. By when? No, I'm saying. Oh, you talking about how many period. songs I got? Songs period. Oh, I got something, man. I'm just saying. I got songs for the books. Cause that's all I do is write for it, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like even when I'm not mean, you know what I'm saying, meaning to write, you feel me? I ain't gotta be just sitting down. You know, right? I mean some half the time I don't even write though, you feel me? Like I just walk around, you know what I'm saying? You know how they come with ideas and you put it in your memo, you feel me? Or you voice record it or something like that and then you put it together later when you hit the steward. You just put some shit together if you feel like put it together, but and all oh, man, I got I got some, I don't know. Hundred something. Maybe. Top top five songs you have though. What's your top five songs? Top top five completed songs for right now is Money Bag, Front of Land, uh B and Bando, RP Rackman, Rackman on that song. I think I, if Money Bag if that's the song I'm thinking of, that song is fucking dope. Oh yeah, Money Bag, yeah, that's that's actually the first single I put out for Folk for the Land. You feel me? That was like my first debut. Solo project period, you feel me? Cause like I was telling you, I was in a group of shit, you know what I'm saying? So it was like my first debut project. And it was nervous as hell, you know what I'm saying? Cause I never presented myself as Bandana Barker Boy. I was always with the group, you feel me? So I basically had to make a name for myself. And that's what Money Bad did for me. He got me that traction, shot the video, and shit. Everybody jumped on it. You know? That's fucking lit. Um, I want to talk about uh, the What's the Name Challenge. I don't know if you was hip to it, but I posted Two on my page. I don't know if you. Uh, what what challenge? EC, challenge? I think it was EC Mark. Oh, you talking about the non for real challenge? Yeah, oh yeah, I, shout I, out EC Mark, man, for that non for real challenge. Had a notebook or something on here. Yeah, but, yeah. Like, bro, I yeah. was like, that shit was hard. Everybody was fucking with that. You know, that I was, like, I was been watching for a minute. Look, see, hell yeah, that was good. You know, I've been watching for a minute, man. Yeah, I keep my, I gotta keep my ear to, you know. Yeah, hell yeah. Especially watch people pages who doing shit. Yeah, for sure. So, um. How was that, man? How did you get, how did that start? Or how did that all start? What, the uh, North Road Challenge? Yeah, did he tell you or he was like, no, I'm gonna just do this shit myself. I mean, that's that's my guy. We we grew up together and shit, you feel me? He was a little younger than me and shit. We grew up together on the ground. I was a Playboy. His house was literally right behind my house. So his backyard, like we shared a backyard because it was like a little cutting. You know what I'm saying? A little cut in the backyard and shit. We used to hoop and shit. But, you know what I'm saying? We, I mean, we just from the same blade, basically. You know what I'm saying? He was just a little bit younger. Everybody used to go to his house to play basketball and shit. You know? So that's how we linked up. But he, I think he hit me up. He, he, a lot of people was telling me I should do the challenge and shit. You feel me? I didn't know about it at first. But then I kept, I went to his page and I seen a bunch of videos that I knew when he was like, clicking on. I'm like, what the hell is this? You feel me? And I kind of heard what it was, but then he hit me, he hit me, he hit me up in my inbox and shit, like that same day. And I'm like, shit. No, you know what? He didn't hit me up. I'm tripping. Niggas tag. He said, who should do this not for real challenge on Facebook? And niggas started tagging me. D-Lo from EC tagged me. And a couple other guys tagged me on Facebook. And then he said, then my nigga Juice from my hood and shit, from Woodward tagged me. And they said, yeah. He said, yeah, but down the woods, we're on this bitch. Then he inboxed me. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna put together. I have to see you by the night. You know? <laughs> put that motherfucker together. I went, I went straight to the, I just went straight to my mom's car and shit because she got the sun and shit. Uh, threw the beat on and stayed in that month. Closed myself in that bitch, you know what I'm saying? Until I was shit, done. That shit Came was out. Fire. He thought I was playing for real. He kept in my inbox like, bro, you playing, man. You playing. You ain't about to do do do. I ain't even respond back to it. You feel me? Like, like 15, minutes late, 15 minutes late, I just threw it to him. 
You feel me? And then he like bandana biker boy uh, off for real challenge. And he had the little hot emojis or you know what I'm saying, the shit emojis. That bitch went. Did pretty. you get on it? Because I, I, it was a challenge. Yeah, so, it's, so it's a real song with uh, it's a real song. three different people versus. I heard you see um, uh, Junior. Junior. Yeah, Ray Junior. Ray Junior is on it's, that. It's uh, a real song. It's a remix. He got the original He got the original version on his uh on the mixtape that he just dropped. And then he got the remix. Mm -hmm. And the remix is me, him, and Ray Junior. That's and I went on this nigga shoot the video. We published on the video. Oh, so that's gonna be fucking. That's gonna, yeah, that's gonna be that's crazy. That's gonna be fucking. Lit. That's gonna be crazy. Um, so everybody voted for me. We're gonna get more to um, Bandana Biker Boy after this. Yo, 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 we back here with Side Street TV with Bandana Biker Boy. We got some more questions to ask him, man. Um, more about this music stuff, man. So, um, do you got a manager? Like, how yo, <laughs> how yo, yeah, this for stuff's, sure. Um, Actually, yeah. recently, I, I, mean, I ain't have a manager for a long time, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I was just rocking, it was me, my supporters, my family, my fans, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And it was really rocking, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, for a long time, I just basically learned how to pretty much manage myself. So, that's all I was doing for like the whole last year, you know what I'm saying? But last year, I clicked real good with one specific person, which was Drew, Andrew Lloyd, the uh, owner and charity, uh, owner and founder of High Entertainment Awards, you feel me? So, that's who my manager now. Along with my brother, Lord Luke, the one one seven nine now. So that's who my manager is right now. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, so y'all have any shows and stuff coming up? Or? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I actually got uh, I got a tour coming up. The Ohio tour. Yeah, it's Ohio tour that I actually won. I won a little slide of shit. It's called. I forgot what it's called. Um, what is it called? Music is my religion. It was a showcase I won. You feel me? Unanimously. So I'll be on tour from March to April. Like every every two days type shit. Did you know that um last year at the awards I had recorded you too when you was saying a little freestyle then you started your song? Oh so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh it bro you got that? Yes, it's on my Instagram, man. You goes down some. Oh man, I want hip. Cause you know what's crazy? Everybody saying, bro, you killed that bitch. But I seen nobody with the footage. Man, Not even my people. I'm I like, got, damn. A, that's nice just for the books. You know what I'm saying? I got a nice mind of it, man. I got a, I've been a lot of places a lot of people don't yeah. know. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and I'm, I'm, I was nominated for photographer of the year then. I'm being nominated for um, promoter of the year and a Legends Award. So, mm -hmm. and once I get a big, yeah. thank you, Mr. Yeah. Yeah. You too, ain't you? You nominated too? Yeah, yeah, I got a nominated Legends Award. What's up, man? Um, so you know my next stage is uh, getting Ohio Hip Hop Awards. Yeah. That's my. I get pre everybody get free um, press passes if uh -huh. you just say you with the press. Yeah. You get a free press pass. Right. My thing is getting nominated for that shit. Right. Oh, that's right. right. Yeah. Just making my whole resume just. Oh yeah. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah. I got a nice little resume. I recorded, yeah. Project yeah. Pat, yeah. I recorded Project yeah. Pat. I recorded Cardi B. I recorded. Oh yeah. Um, Cassidy, I did an interview with Cassidy. Um, I did a nice so, I was like, I'm gonna get a lot of people on radio that's coming up. Um, artists, yeah, yeah. Let's tell me, I keep that black on me. Can't let them niggas do me like they did my last on me. I was not in class. No, for real, John. Yeah, I see the What? I ain't here. I don't think I see that. You'll take my last from me, so enjoy your life and just hope I'm not doing bad on me. Cause I got some bags on me, I got them bags on me. I'll sacrifice your life to keep the money back on me. And I spent that cash on me, still got the tag on me. And your bitch is bad on me. She said that every time you hear everybody shit on this page, you know what I'm saying? You know, I checked everybody out, but it would still be unanimous though. Um, if you can work with anybody that's uh, in the industry right now, who would you work? Who would you work with? Man? In the industry, music industry, uh, for real, for real, my talent three hundred. The uh, wife and you, dude, wife and you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's my guy. That's, that's my guy for real. Cause this guy bars. Right. That's what I. That's what I'm really about for real. The bars. whole summer last year, I was cold. Playing, the whole summer last year, I was playing the whole video, big. I mean, the whole yeah. song just played yeah. it all the way out. Cause you can though. You know what I'm saying? He, he actually say shit. And it was a song though. It was an actual song. You feel me? One just straight bars. You know what I'm saying? The the guy got man. Yeah, he definitely inspired me though. Um, yeah. So, um, if you can have a DJ or producer produce one of your songs, who would it be like? You know, it's, it's I, I would say Zay Tobin, but everybody everybody says Zay Tobin though. But Zay Tobin though. Um, for real, for real, Big Chop, 
I fuck with Big Chop real heavy, but he don't like, take, uh, like, Chicky, yeah, Chicky. yeah, but he don't take it serious though enough. You feel me? I don't think he take it serious. I think that's the best name of it because he's a producer, so like he don't rap. So yeah. I mean, you you talking about the producer? Yeah, the side? producer, the beat side. Oh, yeah, man. yeah. Chop because okay. he made the I don't like. He made all Chicky beat. You know what I'm saying? Coming up when he's coming up. Low you know key, you know they be here all the time, right? Nah, low I'm key, they, they travel here silently and yeah. all the time, like. Um, not too long ago, two months ago, or a month ago, I don't know if I'm a, a, a telling this part of the story, okay. but he was at Conservation Theater, it's a booth and stuff downstairs at Conservation Theater in Cleveland yeah. Heights, and a studio and stuff down there, so he was down there, and oh, my home, one sure. of the artists from Cleveland, too, do a lot of music with uh, Chief Keith, mm-hmm. and Chief Keith be coming here yeah. back and forth, so they, he got a song with Chief Keith, and... Yeah, sure. Oh yeah, that's dope as hell. That's that's a hell of a, I know if I get the first opportunity, I'll definitely jump on it. You feel me? Cause I, I can I learn how to maximize opportunity, you feel me? I just wanna sit on it and then on top of that I got my talent to back it up so it ain't like that'll be the only thing or his single, you know what I'm saying? I just know what it can do. You feel me? Um so so how long you been shout out to um low key. So how long you been fucking low key though? <laughs> Look man, we actually just made that for real. Uh like in the middle of last year, for real. Mm-hmm. But it's like, ever since, bro been like a brother. Mm-hmm. Like a real blood brother, you feel me? It's like- the real down the, earth, yeah, real yeah, you feel me? It's like, we, it's, like, it's, it's like we like, so identical, we so parallel, you feel me? And then he a couple years younger than me, so it's just like, bro, listen, he humble, you feel mm-hmm. me? He teach me shit without even knowing. He teaching me, you know what I'm saying? I'm a real humble dude too, you feel me? I listen, I'm big on soaking up, you know what I'm saying? Um, 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 knowledge, you feel me, whether it's from, uh, a three-year-old or, you know what I'm saying, the old dude on his deathbed type shit, you feel me? I right. wouldn't always learn, you feel me? But dude, dude got talent. He definitely up next. So do y'all got any songs together? Or, no. Uh, you know it, you know it's in the works, because we... we, we y'all do a mixtape or do an EP, like? We probably do all of it, but we ain't got nothing set in stone right now because we both got our buzz going on. We both working on these specific projects. He, he got talk money I got from the land right now, you feel me? And they both popping, so we've been basically really trying to focus on that, see how we can maximize those before we even heard our attention. You know, because a mixtape take a lot of attention. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So I don't really want to cheat. I'm sure you don't want to cheat this project on with you, my project. So right you now. know the name of his project? Um, his next project? project? No, his project that he just done, um, because he got the one song. What's the one song called that he just, uh, damn, what's the one song um, that he been promoting a lot? Cause Talk been, Money? Talk Money. Yeah, yeah. Talk Money. Yeah. What project is that on? You know what, what project? Pro- what pro- what's the name of that project, bro, bro? Uh, at the top. At the top. At the top. Yeah, yeah. How you know any other song? I know yeah. Talk Money. I know a couple on Talk Money. The intro. Um, it's another song he snuck I on me. No, I it's, don't it's put a, no pressure on you. Oh no, you right? ain't no pressure at all. But it's another song he snuck on me up at, at the radio station. I didn't know about. And and it was fire. hot as man. Everything bro dropped fire. Listen, right, right hand of God. I don't even mess with a lot. Dude is talented as hell. Bro inspired me for real. I went to the studio that same night. Let me tell you, um, I forgot where I met him at, bro. I think it was at uh, Agor. I think it was way, way when Chip the Ripper or Chip the Ripper or somebody was here. Yeah. And I seen him perform and I walked up to him like, bro, send me the one track he sent me to. He sent me the one song before the uh, Talk Money came Uh, out. Probably intro. One of them songs, and ever since then, I don't know if he knew that like that was me who asked him to send me that song. Yeah. It's probably the the gore or the it was probably the gore, and that song was freaking fire, fire. You know? So um, I got another song, last like, like song I wanna give a shout out to is a song called Rackman. Okay. It's dedicated to our dude who got killed. You know what I'm saying? He was cold. He was next up for show. He's a youngin. You know what I'm saying? He got killed over there. Uh, on Saint Clair and Quake, but. Ain't about to get into details. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? RP so, so tell me um, some more about your project. What, what's going on with your project? What's the name of your stuff? I'm actually, I'm actually at the end of my project for real, man. I was, I really meant for my project to be done last year. You feel me? But it's like people kept gravitating towards the one song from the land. You feel me? And I kept. Drew told me I should keep pushing it. That's the one when you, when you freestyled the beginning and you were saying yeah, something about noodles that's, and, and that's that's just a that's something I wrote when I was locked up. Like three years ago ish. So that's you know not me? even a song. That's not even a song. Bro, that gotta be a song. I know it is, but I ain't, bro, I ain't even really took the time to make the beat. Even ain't no beat, you know. Like we like that, we be beating on the. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I made that. So you gotta you know, customize the beat. Yeah, so it ain't really no yeah. Beat. You, you feel me? Ain't no beat. It's just 
bars that I know can get in people's head to start off the show. And it's gonna get you remember at the show at the end of the show everybody was dwindling around and shit. I ain't even say nothing. I just give me the mic and put me on stage. And once I get to talking, they gonna listen. They gonna gravitate towards the stage. That's just set them up. And when from the land come on, it's bang. Now I got the crowd back. Bang. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it works. You feel me? So that's like my little formula. Work every time. Hey, keep it going, bro. That's what I'm gonna say, bro. Keep it going. So I got another question. How you think about what? What would you give an artist that's coming up right now? Um, how would what kind of advice or something you would give an artist right now that's coming? To this, uh, this little music scene. My biggest thing for real would say, first of all, make sure it's what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're serious about shit. You know what I'm saying? And if you're serious, it ain't gonna be no question about it. Like, niggas be sleeping on education though. You gotta have education. You feel me? Because it's crazy. Like, all right, you might get the money, but after you get the money, what you gonna do with it? You feel me? It's gonna be gone because you ain't got no knowledge of what to do with it. You ain't got, you know what I'm saying? No one. I ain't go to college none of that. I got locked up before I even graduated. You know what I'm saying? But I educated myself when I was in there, you feel me? So that would be the first thing, you know what I'm saying, education. Make sure you got some type of education, you got a background plan. Like everybody used to tell me, but I used to hate to hear that shit, like whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing music and that's it, you feel me? But another thing, if you are serious about the shit, then go hard. Don't let nobody tell you it's going to be all type of bumps in the road, you know what I'm saying? It's going to always be bumps in the road. You will always have problems, you feel me? It's just at, at, a, at a different level, you're going to have different problems. The problems will never go away, they just change. So if this really what a nigga want, then it's going to show because you're going to make it. Um, we're going to pause this here again. I know this video probably super long, but we're here at Dream Studio, Side mm -hmm. Street TV. We are on with Bandera Barker Boy. What's up, y'all? Yeah. Hey, y'all, like I said, my name is Bandera Barker Boy. Y'all can follow me on Instagram, B-A-N-D-A-N-A. B I K E R B O two Y Band and Barker Boy. And that's pretty much all my social media for real. And last thing I wanna say is everybody who know me, anybody got, you know what I'm saying, all my family support that you know me, y'all know I do it for right now. Are you are that's my daughter, I lost my daughter in 2015, summer 2015. So that was a big deal. That's a big deal, you know what I'm saying? Why I'm here right now. Now I'm able to continue on, you feel me, not to let her name back before we say that's why I'm really in it. And that's what really pushed me to this point. So my hashtag is hashtag R U R rest up right. Yeah, with trophies. Doing this for trophies. Yeah, yeah. From Bad Nana Mikey Boy, we in Dream Studio. Get you get you a session, book a session. Um, book him if you want to feature. Hit him up uh, right now. Yeah. Hey! Stay Shout tuned. out Side Street Promotions, man. They in the building. Hey. Yeah.